Hi, in this video, we're going to be looking at these COVID-19 antigen self tests and you get two in this package. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at everything that's inside. Okay, so you get two of these, one for each test. Two little dropper things, again, one for each test. And then you get two swabs, one for each test. Let's go ahead and look at the directions. So the directions are really big, but they're also very clear. It says test in pouch, do not open until use. Single use dropper, swab, and then a timing device, which is not included. And you're supposed to um, wash your hands before you do the test. It says remove one swab from the packaging. Be careful not to touch the swab tip, uh, soft end with the hand. Carefully insert it at least 0.5 inches inside one nostril. And then slowly rotate the swab using medium pressure at least four times. Okay, rubbing it along the insides of the nostril for 15 seconds. The swab tip should be touching the inside of the nostril through each rotation. Using the same swab, repeat sample collection in the other nostril. And here it talks about how you should only use the swab in the kit. Improper swabbing may lead to false results. Be sure to use swab both nostrils with the same swab. Okay, and then here's where you have to actually open everything. Well, besides the swab, hold the top of the test firmly with one hand and place the swab tip soft and into the sample port. Gently push the swab tip into the sample port while pressing the swab handle down. Okay, and then you put the drops in there and then you wait. So that's the idea. So each, each of these is in here. I'm gonna go ahead and open it and it feels bad because I'm not going to use it um, because I feel fine right now, but let's just go ahead and for the purposes of this video, <laughs> for the greater good, I'm going to sacrifice one of my test kits. It's actually really hard to open. Hmm. I think it has like a, a thing here where you can open it along the thing, but maybe not. Should have like some type of preparation. See if I can get it open. There we go. How to use my teeth, not recommended. Do not use your teeth to open this. <laughs> I had scissors here, but they are gone. So now it's been opened. So now we might as well continue the process of opening this swab kit. Wow, these things are super sealed. Very hard to open. So maybe I'm opening it wrong. Okay, there we go. Scissors would do it though. All right, so this is what it looks like. This is what's in this mysterious package. I see, so this is what you get, this little device here. And so I guess you insert the swab, this swab, I'll leave the swab in there, would go in there, right? That's where it goes in, it goes in there. And then you put the drops in, okay? And the directions are very, very precise and very clear, so definitely read the directions. Uh, definitely don't just take this video as directions, read them carefully. It says, hold the dropper bottle above the swab head. Slowly add all of the liquid on top of the swab head. Add one drop at a time until dropper is empty. Do not add the liquid all at once. Interesting, and it talks here about some warnings, how you just really follow these directions carefully when you're, when you're doing this, okay? And then here it talks about positive results. The test is positive if a control line C and the test line T show both the marked areas on the test. This means it's detected. Look at the test line closely. A very light pink test line is still considered a positive result. Wow. Negative if the control line C marked it, but no test line. Interesting. And then you could have an invalid result if no control line shows on the test, even if a test line does show up. Interesting. So yeah. So this one is gone, so I can no longer use it, I think, because I think it says here, um, somewhere it mentions that you shouldn't open it. Yeah, here, here. Do not open until use. So I opened it before use. So I have, now I'm down to one, I'm down to one COVID-19 test, but that's okay. Hopefully this video helps someone. Um, so the directions seem very simple, very clear, very precise. So if you're thinking about uh, getting a COVID test kit, this one seems pretty good. I've taken a COVID test before. Um, it was a different one. I had to like mix some stuff. Uh, it was like a little vial or something. It was, it's been a while though. 
and uh, fortunately I've never I've never had it so if you are looking for a test kit uh, this might be one to consider just make sure you follow those directions good luck